Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Halloween Horrorathon. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about something kind of general. Um, when I was growing up, uh, I loved watching Scooby-Doo. Big fan of Scooby-Doo. Um, and why, why I mean general is I'm not picking a specific episode. In fact, I'm not even picking a specific Scooby-Doo. I'm actually just going to kind of talk about um, an experience that uh, if you're around my age, so at the time of filming, this is 2019, uh, Halloween Horathon. Um, uh, I'm, I'm 30. I'm, I turned 30 this year. So if you're around my age, you might have had this exact same experience as me, which was when you were in elementary school-ish, or um, yeah, elementary school, when you got sick and stayed home from school, Scooby-Doo was straight up on from like 9 till about 2. And it was awesome because it wasn't just Scooby-Doo. It was like all these different series. Um, it started out with regular Scooby-Doo, if I remember correctly, the order. Regular Scooby-Doo, you know, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Um, which is just, you know, I mean, classically good. In fact, so good that I bought, like, the Hanna-Barbera collection a while ago of uh, most of the stuff I'm going to talk about today. But, uh, so you had, you had your regular, you know, Scooby-Doo, where are you? You know, the classic, your minor 49er and the, the, you know, just, like, the creeper. You know, all just all the, all the classic episodes that if, if you're a Scooby-Doo fan, you know, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, from there, it went to a pup named Scooby-Doo, <laughs> which, um, you know, each episode of Scooby-Doo, if you didn't know uh, the original series, there's always a part where everyone's running from the monster, going in and out of doors, doors closing, and it's like, ah, and there's always a song, and it's real cool. And the neat thing about a pup named Scooby-Doo is they kept that going. They did the same thing. They would make a new song in every episode that was particular to that episode, to that monster. And uh, they'd have that running, chasing sequence. Uh, it's kind of a good way to probably for them to burn two minutes or so of, uh, of, of run time. But uh, it, it's a great thing. Um, I used to love it. But after that came... Um, like the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and that's where they had like Scrappy and all that, and eh, I could have gone without that. I'm not a big Scrappy fan, personally. I mean, mo some people really like them, I, I don't. And they also had like, I forgot the other guy's name, I think it's like Scooby-Dumb, like Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Dumb, I don't know. He's like, he was another Great Dane, and he always wore like a hat, and he was, he was very stupid. But uh, it doesn't matter, because the, the best thing came after that. It was two episodes, back to back, and it was the the new Scooby-Doo movies. Um, you know, I say it's called the new Scooby-Doo movies, but they weren't new. They were obviously from the 70s. But the cool thing was is they had, like, special guests, like, starring Don Knotts or the Harlem Globetrotters or something like that. And, um, you know, Mama Cass was in one, <laughs> um, which it was awesome. I mean, I used to love the new Scooby-Doo movies, the Batman episodes. I think there's two of those. Uh, they were all great. And like I said, uh, the Hanna-Barbera collection, uh, they started making these a while ago. They actually have one for the new Scooby-Doo movies. And like I said, you know, when you were homesick in elementary school, uh, those were, it was like, it was awesome. You know, I just remember, you know, your parents leave you at home because, you know, you're old enough to, to be home alone. And, uh, you know, you got a little fever, you got your, your big bottle of Gatorade, and you got your saltine crackers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kind of a day off from school, Watch this from Scooby Doo. Um, you know, I know this Halloween horrorathon, so let's, for the sake of the picture, let's imagine that it happened in October and it's just perfect. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it for us today. I know it's kind of a weird departure from, from normal Halloween stuff, but Scooby Doo is kind of horror ish, or it wants to be. And, uh, and it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool memory for me. So uh, if you guys um, are maybe around my age or remember that time frame where it's like if you stayed home, you were watching Scooby all day. Uh, let's talk about it down in the comments, you know, like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, other than that, uh, you know, hey, take it easy. <laughs>